hello 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 guys this is your knowledge kit welcome to this free funded scholarship opportunity in different countries in europe if your dream was to study abroad in european universities then today is your chance we will be looking at how you can get a freely founded scholarship called Erasmus Simondo's Scholarship 2023-2024. Now, with this scholarship, you will be able to study to three to four universities in Europe. All nationalities can apply. No work experience required, no age limit, no GPA limit, no supervision contact. Application usually starts in October to January, sometimes to March, depends on the program you are applying for. Some courses do not require an English certificate such as IHC or TOEFL. If your first degree was in English, now let's go direct to the website for the scholarship. We will look at the benefits of the scholarship, eligibility criteria, documents required, different courses or programs offered, and how to apply. On my screen, you go to your, brow to your browser you type Erasmus Simondo's Scholarship 2023-2024. You will come to different links. Click on one of them. Then you come to the home page like this. On this page, you see Erasmus Simondo Scholarship 2023-2024 fully founded. Now, the Erasmus Simondo Scholarship program is a fully founded master and PhD scholarship in Europe. Erasmus is one of the great chances for students to study for free in Europe. It is Europe, Europe, Europe's largest scholarship program the erasmus simondo scholarship for international students is a master and a phd degree scholarship to study in different universities in europe this is not a bachelor scholarship or high school it is a master and phd now the scholarship counts around 3,000 free founded scholarship. So it's up to you which program you choose and you have to check the requirements for each program. Now, this will include the features of Elasmus, number of scholarships, benefits, available fields, program countries, which are the partners and the program countries, what is not required in this scholarship, uh, the requirements, how to prepare yourself and how to apply. Looking at the details, this scholarship is sponsored by European Union. Countries, countries are European countries and some other countries out of Europe. It is a fully founded, it is at the master's level and the PhD and deadline goes until March, but better start earlier for your chance. Now, the 
features of this scholarship there are some key features you can look first it is a european government free funded scholarship program if you are interested in a more scholarship you can also click on this link you will find the list of more scholarship you better try for several links you never know where is your chance but for this one let's continue there are different masters and phd programs offered by different european universities you will be able to study and complete your program in three to four countries under erasmus erasmus is one of the high prestigious scholarship to europe in almost every field you can find yourself there there is no previous work experience required no GRE requirement no IHC requirement the last most amount scholarship also contains a part-time internship as training in different countries the duration of the scholarship is two years for master's program and three for phd sometimes for master's it is one year depends on your program the last month scholarship open to any citizen wherever you are located you are eligible to apply result awaited student can also apply if your results are not yet out or you are in your last year of a first degree you can apply number of scholarships there are three thousand benefits you will receive a monthly stipend of between one thousand one hundred and one thousand two hundred euros per month it is a fully founded free tuition fee you will get a traveling allowance you will get international air ticket from your home country to the school travel allowance from a country to country when you finish a semester you will be given some transport to relocate to another place no bond restriction to return to your home country you will get a job visa granted after the studies erasmus is like a fulbright of europe so for those who know fulbright it is also another type of scholarship we we'll cover it later now available fields you can see there is an engineering program there's computer science business economics law humanities social science health and health program countries you can pass through them later there are several countries most of them are european countries what is not required it is desert awaited student can also apply gra is not required no need to contact a professor no work experience people over 3 16 years of ed education can apply no age restriction people with c gpa between 2.5 to 3 have been selected also so if you have a low gpa you can still apply don't restrict yourself now here this is what you have to keep in mind the requirement the required documents first you have to present your degree and transcript motivation letter passport copy cv this is not required plan plan of research you can make it application form it is a must you have to apply recommendation letter you have to have two recommendation letters from your 
lecturers or from your employer that of intent yes you have to make it study plan you have to make it certificate of facts not necessary <coughs> also this is a must you can check first if you the program which you are applying is accepting any other language test the new IELTS alternative is the launch the code Duolingo. Some universities accept this Duolingo. So you can give a test at home. If you don't have an IELTS, you can submit an English language certificate which you have. You can use your university leave certificate recommendation from the school that your first degree was taught in english now we go down here how to apply application you can open the erasmus mondo catalog and go through each program and by one you see which program you fit in which one you are interested in which one is linked to your previous degree then select in 2023 not 2022 the student in the tech to be listed programs this is already passed but there is the one for 2023 which i'm talking about now finalize the, the most relevant programs to you you can choose three programs this is a this is an advantage you don't have to choose the one but the maximum are three programs you can choose them in three different universities three different programs so check requirements of the program and make them available statement of purpose motivation letter personal statement and your documents school documents this is mostly what is required now how to apply application you will go to the catalog you go to your browser again click on Erasmus Simondo catalog you will come to an official website of European Union it's called down you see Erasmus Simondo joint masters you can read to know exactly what this this scholarship is all about we scroll down and now you find the programs here Erasmus Simondo catalog there is about 175 different courses you can tackle here first this is the you go to the first page the first page you will find this european master in law and economics if you want to go about this one you click on it now the project is located in Netherlands, France, Spain, Belgium, Israel, Germany, India, Italy, and Poland. If you are not interested on this one, scroll down. You choose the one which you want, education, museums, and heritage, religious diversity in a globalized world. You scroll down if you don't find what you are interested in you click next go to next chapter let's go directly to nine which is the last one nine let's pick for example international masters on sacra 
on Saka economy. You read down the details. It is an ongoing, so you can still apply. The project will end in 2024. The amount of the project, it is almost 4 million. Learning mobility, it is how you will be learning. You can still check the details of everything here. Country covering this mobility summary. You can read this program is all about. You go down, you scroll down, you scroll down. You look everything about the statement, and it is a must that you check on this page before to help you make your your statement. Yeah, your personal statement should be based on this summary. You read the summary, you check on the university's program, you understand what this scholarship is all about, what you need to have, what is your qualification, what is what they expect in you and what you should include on your CV and what you should not include. So, guys, on the next video, we'll look at how you can apply. Step by step, I will show you how you can go through this application and how you can win this scholarship in a simple way you see let's meet on the next video if you like the video please share with your friends and subscribe for more thank you